Hello Pisces. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I will be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity Abundance reading for the month of June 2020. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you all so much for your kind, loving, sweet messages about um, the passing of my dog, Bentley. She was 14. She had some heart issues. She was having seizures and uh, it was just it was just time. I did everything I could uh, to keep her, but um, you know, I just I couldn't let her suffer anymore. And I just want to say thank you all because your positive um, messages and you know, kind, loving words were just uh, very much, very much needed during that very emotional time. So, um, also, I want to share with you that I have actually partnered with uh, the creator of a new to me tarot deck. It's called the Original Tarot. It's what I'm going to be using for the readings for the month of June. And I'm going to have a link down below in case you're interested in learning more about this particular deck. It is a uh, writer weight based and the deck is lovely, very colorful, very vibrant. Uh, the cards have a linen finish. The card stock is, is really, really nice, very high quality. Uh, the cards shuffle like a dream, and I am uh, looking forward to using them this month. I've been working with the cards for a little over a month now, and they are lovely. Uh, this is the box here, in case you are interested. Like I said, I will have a link down below. And so that's what we're reading, <laughs> using for the readings for June. I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot cards, as I always do, and then I will close out your reading, Pisces, with a Spirit Animal Oracle card. Also, if this is your first time catching one of my videos, I do invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month, and I would love to share your money message with you. Also, I just want to give you a heads up that I do read jumper cards. If you're not familiar uh, with what those are, sometimes you will uh, see cards literally fly out of the deck as I shuffle, or sometimes cards will flip over. Uh, those are the cards that I choose to read because I do believe they are communicating something specific, and so I do pay attention to that. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and get right into your reading. Okay, did a card flip over? All right. So what do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of June 2020? What do we need to know for the sign of Pisces? Oh. All right, Pisces, I can tell <laughs> already that it looks like you're starting to feel a lot more confident as it relates to your money as we move into the first week of June. You know, I'm not going to say that you have everything you want, but you know, things are starting to kind of stabilize for you as we move into the month of June. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, the images on these cards are very vibrant. I love it. Okay. So we've got the Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles reverse, Six of Pentacles upright, Six of Swords, reverse, King of Wands, re reverse, also the King of Swords in the upright position. So, <laughs> excuse me, Pisces, things are actually, you're starting to get more control over your money and your finances. Now, I'm not going to say that you have all the money that you want or that you're living this, you know, extravagant, wealthy lifestyle. But at the same time, things are starting to fall into place for you. Uh, you're starting to see money flow. Uh, if you're 
uh, someone who is employed or maybe you were laid off, you know, you're starting to see that you have uh, opportunities. Maybe you're going back to work. Uh, maybe you have a side hustle that's starting to pick up. Things are starting to take off. I have to say that looking at this first row of cards, things are starting to move for you as it relates to your finances. Things are more fluid. Money is flowing. And, you know, you're kind of getting settled into a groove because we all are trying to adapt to a new normal, you're starting to figure out how it's gonna work for you, what things are gonna look like, what you're gonna to have to do, what you're gonna to have to not do, and you're really just starting to feel more confident in your ability to create income for yourself or in your ability to pay bills or in your abilities to manage your finances. Now these two cards here in the reverse are actually very, very good. It means that your past you know, having to juggle all the bills or having to skip bills or having to, you know, pay bills late, whatever the case may be, you're moving past that and you're even getting to a point where now maybe you might be able to pay two bills ahead, two months ahead. Maybe you're able to give more, to donate more. Maybe you're able to help others. You're just feeling really, really confident. Once we move into June, you're feeling a lot more in control. Now I say that because we have the King of Swords here as uh, the final card in this first row. Now, we have the Six of Swords here in reverse. This tells me that maybe some travel plans or some type of uh, relocation or movement has either been canceled, postponed, or delayed in some way, shape, or form. And this is not anything that has to do with you. Uh, you know, you're not the cause of things being held up. It's just probably the circumstances that we're all going through right now, you know, as it relates to travel. So if you did have a trip uh, planned for the month of June or maybe at the beginning of June, you know, anywhere in there, uh, you may be experiencing some delays or you may just be uh, having to cancel the trip altogether. Now, we also have the King of Wands. This tells me that there's going to be some change in your workplace, some change in your business. Uh, the King of Wands in the reverse means that there's, you know, some uh, rearranging is what I'm is what I'm feeling here. There's going to be a rearranging, maybe a restructuring of your business, of your workplace. Maybe you might change positions. Maybe you might relocate to a different office. Uh, there could be a change in management behind the scenes, or it could just be a change uh, maybe in how your job is done. Maybe now your position, you know, you're doing other things on top of what you're already doing, or maybe some things have been eliminated just because of the workplace restructure. Now, this is a good thing because it means that things are kind of changing and things are shifting. And this can create an opportunity for you to either make more money to advance in your current career, or even maybe it's kind of giving you a wake up call that, hey, this is not something I want to do long term. But whatever the case may be, just uh, kind of prepare yourself for some changes in the workplace. Uh, they're not good, they're not bad, they just are. And like I said, because we have the King of Swords here in the upright, that tells me that you're really starting to feel more in control of your finances. Uh, you're starting to feel like you have the ability to make some decisions that you weren't able to make before. Right, so what else do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of June 2020, what do we need to know for the sign of Pisces? Okay. All right, Pisces, as we move into that second week of June, look for a message of some sort. There's going to be an offer coming your way, uh, maybe an opportunity to either take on a new work position or maybe an opportunity to uh, be involved in a business of some sort. But there's going to be a positive offer being made as it relates to your work or to your income. Uh, could even be related to your business if you're a business owner, but this is good. This is definitely some good news coming your way. Now, you're going to have to act on this news quickly. We've got the Knight of Swords here. Now, the Knight of Swords is all about swift moving energy. It's about things coming and happening really quickly, and then things just kind of 
shift and change just as quickly. So you have to really uh, kind of be on your game and pay attention to things because when something shows up, you may not have a lot of time to make a decision. Now, the high priestess here in the reverse position, this is telling me, Pisces, that you may not necessarily be trusting your own intuitive nature, your own intuitive hits that may be coming through. Uh, this is a very scary, uncertain time for a lot of us, and so we may be not necessarily feeling as uh, confident or as uh, capable of uh, creating the life that we want or attracting the money that we want. So you may want to kind of um, re-examine how you're feeling and maybe dig deep and see if, if your feelings are based on fear or if they're based on things that you know to be true. Or it could be uh, maybe you just need to spend more time um, in your spiritual uh, practices. You know, maybe you need to do more prayer, more meditation. Maybe you need to do more study uh, as far as your metaphysics. You know, wh however, whatever uh, that applies to you, uh, this is the time now to really you know, go deep and do some inner work so you can kind of get your spiritual self in alignment with what you're trying to create. Because sometimes it's our own uh, limitations and our own beliefs that are holding us back from the things that we want. We also have the Fool here in reverse. Now, what's interesting about the Fool in reverse is that he fell on this card here that talked about delays in some type of movement, travel, location. The fool, when it shows up in reverse, sometimes that means being naive about a situation. Or it could be also about having unrealistic expectations. You know, a lot of us kind of are um, trying to make sense of everything that's going on. And so we all think that things will get back to normal at some point. But then we have the realists out there who say, you know, I don't think things will ever get back to normal. But we have... You know, we hold on to the hope, you know, that something's going to change in our favor or something's going to happen for the better. Now, I'm not saying that that's you necessarily, Pisces, but I have to say that you do have your moments where maybe you're just kind of, um, maybe kind of in your own realm of thinking as it relates to certain things. Like maybe you're, you're just saying, you know, I don't think you know, travel is going to be affected. I don't think we're going to have to postpone our vacation. I don't think I'm going to have to change how I live or how I do things. Um, but the reality is, is that there are going to be some changes that are going to have to be put into place. And um, you may not want to accept them right away, or you may not accept them at first. But eventually, as time goes on, you're going to see and you're going to understand that uh, this is something you can't control. This is something you're going to have to acknowledge uh, either sooner or later. Now we also have the Queen of Swords here. She's in the upright position. The Queen of Swords is all about eliminating what is not necessary. She also uh, sometimes has an energy about her where uh, she has no hesitation about cutting something or someone off. Also, she's not afraid to kind of do something different if she knows it's going to pay off in the end. And I kind of think that's kind of what you're feeling uh, as we move into the second week of June, Pisces. You're feeling like, you know, there's something that's got to change. Something's got to be let go and um, let the chips fall <laughs> where they may, so to speak. Um, but you're, you're kind of releasing that responsibility um, to worry about how other people feel. I'm feeling that really strongly. It's almost like... Um, maybe you, you say yes when you really want to say no because you're afraid of offending someone. Or maybe you feel like that's what you should do. But uh, you're kind of moving past that, Pisces. You just don't have the time or the desire or the intention to do that anymore. And that's definitely a good thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more clarity for you, Pisces, and see what is going on. So what else do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? Nice. For the month of June 2020. 
All right, Pisces. So you're going to be you're going to be working with some people, but you're going to have to. I'm going to give you this heads up as it's coming to me right now. You need to be careful. Uh, this Ten of Pentacles talks about uh, collaboration and working with the group, working with other people, uh, also connecting with other people for a bigger project or a bigger cause. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I think we all kind of have to do group work at some point or another, especially in our professional lives. Um, but be careful who you're exactly uh, trusting here. I see the Ten of Swords in this card is about betrayal, literal backstabbing. backstabbing. Um, it's also a card about um, ignoring the signs, okay? So you have to be very, very um, perceptive when someone shows you who they are or a situation exposes itself in one way, shape, or form. Pay attention to that, right? Because that's something that can burn you down the line if you don't pay attention to the signs early on so this could be a literal person betraying you or it could be a like i said a heads up to pay attention to any type of signs of something that's just not right or something that doesn't feel right uh, don't ignore the warning signs next up we have the knight of cups now again the knight of cups is about another uh, offer someone coming to your rescue, someone coming to your aid. Now, this is different from the page because the page talks about just the information. The Knight of Cups is something or someone showing up to your aid, someone showing up to help you. Now, this could be a loan. It could be a government assistance program. Uh, it could be a person coming to offer you support, offer you guidance, offer you advice. So uh, you do have someone or something showing up to help you. Uh, this is happening towards the second half of June. So get ready for that. Just know that you're not going to have to do everything on your own. There is support there and it will be available to you. Now we also have the Ten of Wands here. Ten of Wands is another warning. You have to be careful not to take on too much. I know a lot of us are trying to make things happen. We're trying to um, really get things moving at this you know, certain phase in our careers and in our professional lives. But just be careful that you don't overwhelm yourself. You know, Make sure you're taking care of your physical body as well as your mental health. You know, don't stress yourself out. Try not to, uh, you know, do too much all at the same time. Now this beautiful part here, we have these two uh, very positive cards. We have the sun and then we have the high priestess. Now these are two of the most beautiful, powerful cards in the deck and we're seeing the high priestess again. Remember we saw her here. Uh, the sun card is ultimate joy, contentment, happiness, fulfillment, positivity in every way, shape, or form. The high priestess means you're really in tune and you're really connected to that uh, intuitive uh, ability that you have, that you're naturally gifted with, something that, you know, whatever your spiritual gift is, uh, it's definitely serving you as we move through the second half of June. I think uh, probably in this second week here, you're feeling maybe a little disconnected uh, spiritually or intuitively, but as the month progresses on, you're gonna see that you're able to tap into that intuitiveness that you are so gifted and blessed with, and you're going to see that you are feeling like you can be this ultimate creator. You also have uh, insight. You have uh, abilities to kind of see and feel things that may not necessarily be apparent up front, but because you are maybe an empath or maybe you have your own psychic abilities, um, you're able to kind of dare I say, <laughs> make some predictions in some way, shape, or form. So if you are feeling that, uh, trust it because you definitely have the gift and it's something that is, you know, serving you and uh, your guides, spirit, angels, whatever, you know, feels comfortable for you to resonate with. Uh, there is definitely some support, spiritual support, as well as um, guidance coming to you and coming through you. All right, so let's see what else we need to know for the sign of Pisces. Our cards are coming out. Pisces, I mean, this June is going to end for you on a very high note. And I'm just looking at your cards coming out. 
And this is great. All right, Pisces, as we close out the month of June, just know uh, things are still working in your favor. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. This means you have financial support coming in. We also have the Strength card. Uh, this is a quiet strength. This is not you uh, having to flex <laughs> on anyone or anything or for anyone or anything. But you have the strength that comes from an inner knowing that everything is going to be okay and that your money is going to come. Now, I know a lot of us are worried about our finances, but I have to tell you, especially looking at... All right, Pisces, I apologize, but my camera cut off as I was <laughs> uh, doing your reading, so I'm going to... Um, I'm not sure exactly where it cut off, but I think we were somewhere around here. We were talking about uh, new opportunities, new enterprise, new adventures, new developments coming for you with this Ace of Wands. We also have the Queen of Wands. She has a very stable, grounded energy. She's someone that pays attention to the details and acknowledges the little things before they turn into big things. And I know I was talking about the Four of Swords and how this card showing up at the end of the reading tells me that you're probably going to feel a little bit of Oh, I want to say accomplishment so much so that you're going to feel like you, you will need to rest and step back. Now, whether that be physical rest, which I think it probably will be, but also mentally and spiritually, you're going to need rest because you've got so much going on throughout the month that you're really going to have to take a step back and recoup and just kind of absorb and just kind of... Um, kind of just kind of sink into everything that's going on because you do have a lot going on. Now, the first half of June, it's basically kind of things, uh, I want to feel like this is kind of the setup for the second half of the month where things actually really start happening, things really start taking shape because you've got the group projects, you also have uh, the sun card and the intuition and you also have good luck, literal good luck showing up for you. You're also going to have support, help, guidance um, and like I said you have things developing that can turn into very profitable opportunities for you so uh, overall Pisces your June is gonna be jamming I also feel too like there's some things Pisces that maybe you've kind of been putting on hold but once we hit the month of June 2020, you decide to take more action. And I think that's kind of what is propelling you forward and what is is really helping you to kind of get um, get more, I want to say established is the right word. So, um, yeah, you're going to have a really good month. Pisces, and like I said, you've got a lot going on, but the second half of the month of June is really where the things start solidifying and things really start taking place. Now, I also uh, did pull a Spirit Animal Oracle card for you, Pisces, and the one we got was Swan Spirit. And this says time for a deep dive. And I think that's really, uh, that echoes what we were talking about in your reading. You know, we talked about you know, really you taking action, you being more proactive, and also you just kind of getting the help and support that you need. And that's going to allow you to really be focused and to go deep on whatever it is that you want to do in order to advance yourself, increase your money, increase your income, and really make the positive changes that you want to make in your life. So Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or observations, feel free to drop those down in the comment section below. And if you would like to connect with me for a private reading, I will have that information linked in the description as well. All right, Pisces, thank you so much for choosing to spend this time with me. We'll do it again next month.